Thank you for coming, everyone. And thank you for taking charge in the relief effort. We would have fared far worse without you. Someone had to do it, that's all. Come, let's take stock. In terms of casualties, at least 50 died in the attack. And many times that number are wounded. All available healers are seen to their care. Structural damage at least is limited, so essential business can be conducted without issue. That said, the people are understandably shaken. We must assuage their fears and begin working to restore things to normal as quickly as possible. Now, the most confounding mystery remains our enemy. And their mechanical soldiers created with technology that surpasses anything I've ever seen. What is their nature? And how did Zoralja manage to bring them under his command? Such things remain unknown. They emerged from the dome encasing Yasolani. We're quite certain of that much. Ah, uh, speaking of the dome, we have some theories, I'm told. Indeed. I would like to call upon some helpers to join the discussion. May I invite them here? By all means. It's me. Permission has been granted. You can come in. Greetings, everyone. I gather circumstances are quite dire. All is well in the Annex, never fear. I've already dealt with the most pressing matters, and others hold the fort in my absence. Following the changing of Dawn Servants, Gulul Jarja spoke about the Golden City to his two successors. Thanks to Wuglamart, I was allowed to attend that meeting. What I heard led me to conclude that this was a matter for the students. Thus did I call upon our comrades who possessed the requisite expertise. It was actually after that that the dome manifested. But, based on what we know, I have reason to believe that it is connected to the Golden City. While we're eager to help, we have limited familiarity with the situation. Might we trouble you to explain from the beginning? As you know, it was a letter I found tucked away in the Valdesian Annex that brought me to Tural. A letter from the Dawn Servant, addressed to my grandfather, sent some 20 years ago. The request to investigate the City of Gold? Indeed. The strange thing is, there was mention of neither Tural nor the City in our records. Hoping to learn the truth of my grandfather's mission, what he did and saw, I volunteered to help in the Rite of Succession. At the end of which, 
I was able to hear the tale from Galul Jaja. Like us, my grandfather went to the deepest chamber of the Sky Deep Cenote. And, like us, he saw the gate to the Golden City. Is that what you required our help with? This gate? It was. You see, the gate was opened once in the past. And... It led to another reflection. I can take the story from here. Considering my part in these affairs, I reckon maybe I'm best equipped to speak on the matter. I was there too, you see. In those ruins, together with Galuf and Galul Jaja, and what I saw that day, I'll never forget. completely different civilization. It was over a thousand years ago that the giants mined here. Their records make no mention of glowing stones. Hmm. It harbors high concentrations of ether, and on the surface are what appear to be arcane patterns. They aren't Alagan, or Mahi, or Nemean. If anything, they put me in mind of the calculations of the South Sea Islanders, but even then,
Though it never opened again, Galuf continued to study the gate for years after that, hoping to learn something of value. All he could conclude was that it was built with unknown technology, and that it led to another world, one apart from the Void. We'd assumed the ruins themselves were the Golden City, only to discover that the real prize actually lay beyond the gate, and beyond our reach. Couldn't make head nor tail of the artifact, either. As it had similar properties to the black stone in the ruins, we were convinced it was important. So Galul Jaja took it to the palace, for safekeeping. Galuf, meanwhile, took the baby with him back to Charlian, and raised her as his own. Then the child was... The earring inside the letter to my grandfather. It was apparently found amongst my swaddling clothes. If this is true, then it means that you hail from another reflection. So it would seem I still struggle to take it all in myself. Looking back, Grandfather was always quick to seek distractions whenever I broached the subject. But never would I have guessed anything like this. But enough about me. We have more pressing matters. The forces that assailed Tuliolo. You suspect they are somehow connected to the Golden City? Thinking back on it, the soldiers looked like they could have been made from the same black stone. And leading them was Zeralja. His involvement also lends weight to the theory. On the day of the succession ceremony, a bandit took me unawares and knocked me out. When I came to, I found my home turned upside down, with a few particular items missing. Namely the keystones I was entrusted with, for my role as Watcher of the Gate. The Bandit? You believe that it was... I only got a glimpse of him, but I... It was a blue-scaled Hubigo. I know no other. The artifact stored at the palace was also stolen. 
The thief struck during the ceremony, and the guard was spread thin. So our assumption is Zoran just somehow opened that gate to another reflection, where he acquired advanced technology and his mechanical armor. It fits. And if he did, then it's also likely that the dome is a product of this unknown reflection. Hold on. We've been going on and on about the reflections, but what of my home? What's become of it? Indeed. Where it concerns other realities, I dare say the Scions are best suited to tackle the task. You can say that again. We've been to the literal edge of existence. Some mysterious giant dome shouldn't scare us. As you know, our Order has ostensibly disbanded. We'd thank you to be discreet about our unofficial reunion. Huh. Worry not. We'll spare no effort to get to the bottom of this. And with our hero, eager to help, you can be confident of the results. I'm coming with you. If that's where my brother is, then that's where I must go. I can't say I understand everything you're discussing, but I know what I have to do. I have to put a stop to Zorosha and restore the people's happiness. Suffice it to say, I share Lamachi's desire to join you. However, under these circumstances, it would be unwise for both vows to be absent from the city. As such, I shall remain in Tuli Yolar. Come what may, I will protect our nation. So go forth, sister. And do what you must. Thank you. It may be prudent for us to likewise divide our forces. While one group ventures into the dome, the other keeps guard without. Agreed. There's something I wish to investigate out here. So I will remain. I as well. The enemy's warships still loom overhead, and I would see that we are prepared for the worst. I wish to go to the dome. As a student, I have an obligation to investigate this potential threat to the world. But I'd be lying if I said I'm not deathly curious about my origins. If there's aught to be learned, then I want to learn it. In that case, please let me come too. I have to see what's become of my home. I may not be a fighter, but I know those lands like the back of my hand. I can guide you. <laughs> if you hadn't offered, I would have asked. We're counting on you. I'm not one for waiting around, so if it's all the same to you, I'll join the dome crew. You should accompany them, Graha. I expect your knowledge and experience will be useful. In the meantime, I intend to learn what I can about the gate, and will keep you apprised of my findings. Pray do the same. Assuming communication is possible from inside the dome, we'll maintain contact and share any developments. 
It seems our teams are assembled. A fine roster, I think. Looks good to me. We'll find a way to deal with the threat. For the sake of Tural. It's truly heartening to have you at our side for this. Thank you, everyone. Now, before we set off, there's one thing I need to do. The people are still shaken by the attack, and I'd like to reassure them as best I can.